Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Sevtech. Now, in the last episode, uh, we got these Shadow Gym shards, and to make a Shadow Gym with them, which we're going to need for the Flame Grilled Whopper, we're going to need a Horse Press. So let me just bookmark that with A. Uh, the Horse Press is not that difficult, it just requires a little bit of leather. Because in order to make leather cordage, you need leather strips, which are made from leather, using the work blade. So, we have to get a little bit of leather processing done. Also, my buffalo guys are over here. Um, if I can, this episode, I'm going to see if I can make separate pins for both my cows and buffaloes. Um, but yeah. In this episode, hopefully, we are going to get as close to the Flame Grilled Whopper as we possibly can. The only things we're really missing are... Whoa, wrong keybind. The only thing we're, things we're really missing are the Charcoal Dust and Red Cedar Planks. Uh, the Charcoal Dust is made with the Millstone. You just put charcoal in there, in the Millstone, and... Uh, let me bookmark this, actually, because we don't have one yet. And you use the hand crank right here. Needed to power early machines like the millstone. Uh, this requires a wooden gear, and the only way to make a wooden gear in this, uh, in this age right now is with buffalo teeth. So we need red cedar planks and buffalo teeth. That's why I'm growing, or I'm, I, I've got these buffalo right here. So once they grow up, we can breed them and uh, harvest some teeth from them. But yeah, um, let's see. Yeah, we need to get down this quest line here. I would prefer to get a wooden barrel because with the wooden barrel, um, let me see, barrel. With the wooden barrel, it collects water from rain and retains inventory when covered. Uh, this is not that difficult, It, but the only thing is it requires a lid for it. And every single one of them require a lid if you want it to keep its contents. So, I'm going to make one of those real quick if I've got the wood. I do not have... That's mulberry wood, I'm saving that. Um... What do I not need? I think I, I think I just need to harvest. That's a creeper. We had some problems with those earlier. Oh, I forgot I planted mulberry trees. All right. Well, we can chop down some trees real quick. Harvest some wood. And avoid the creeper that's right there. Haha! Ha. I am a master at combat, and there was another one behind me. Nope. Don't explode. There we go. Alright, let's take the saplings there, grab the wood, avoid all the monsters because the monsters are scary. All right, I've got eight wood. Um, let me make a chest real quick. So I'm going to put this in my offhand. How did I miss that badly? Oh, well. But put this in my offhand, grab a couple planks and stuff. Go ahead and convert all of those into planks. Okay, well, apparently the planks don't exist. There we go. And I'm going to make myself another chest because we are running desperately low on storage so um where'd those what oh there's the rocks okay i picked up some rocks and the rocks didn't appear all right now we have another chest i can toss some things in here and sort out my inventory All 
All right, now that I've sorted out my inventory, uh, we needed some of those planks to make a barrel. Um, we need six planks for the barrel itself and one slab. Yes, right here. That should be the recipe. It is. All right, and that's a that's a craft or that's an achievement. But we are going to need a little bit more in the way of wood. So let me chop down a couple more trees, and I'll come back with about three barrels, four barrels? I don't know. I'll just come back back with more barrels. Okay, so I'm back, and oh, our buffalo have grown. Well, that's going to be it's gonna be hard to move them now, because now we can't pick them up. Um, but anyways, I'm back. I've got four barrels, two lids. The lids are kind of, like, annoying. Because you only get three slabs from here. And you can't make an like, even number without using a lot of your resources for it. So I ended up just making two lids. Uh, but two of these barrels are going to be for collecting rainwater. And the other two I'm going to have over here with a fluid bladder. So that I can fill... So I can fill these up with water from the lake over here, or the river. This allows us to uh, take the barrels, and as you can see, fluid water, 800 millibuckets, but this allows us to take the water from the lake and make leather just over here rather than having to make it over at the lake so let me take the lid off boom uh here's gonna be some of our barrels i think yeah let's just put them like right here i'm gonna put the lids in the chest boom uh and we should have yes we've got some rawhide um, I forget how, I think it was salt. You apply salt with the water, or the fluid bladder, with the raw hide, and you get salted hide. And then I think you, oh, food. But I think you take the salted hide, yeah, you dry it, turn it into dry hide, then you take the ground resin, which you get from grindstoning bark. Um, yeah, bark, right here. Um, and then you take that, make wet tanned hide, I think, and then dry that again, and it gives you leather, I believe. I think that's the process. Uh, but I'm going to make a little bit of leather, and I will be back. Okay, so I just came back, and I've got some of the salted hide right here, but... Oh, why is this buffalo out here? No, what? Why are you... Okay, anyways, uh, the fire that's underneath are these things. I uh, actually ended up lighting one of the barrels on fire. I ended up catching it before it got really bad, but it... <laughs> We could have lost a lot of water there. So, just FYI. Right now, I'm making some slabs so that I can make drying racks. Um, so that we can speed up our leather working process. I believe next, uh, I believe the next age is when we get access to a mixing basin. And with the mixing basin, we can, uh, make leather a lot more efficiently. Oh, there goes our crafting rock. Okay. Uh, to make another crafting rock, you just take a rock in the crafting table, and it gives you a crafting rock. Just a small little tidbit of information. All right. 
Alright, now that we've got some of these, and those are done, wow, just in time, uh, we can speed up our leather working process by doing that. And now I'm going to need some more bark. Fun. Alright, so right now I am grinding down some bark to get some ground resin. As you can see, boom, ground resin. I believe we're going to need 14, because I think that's how much leather that is in the process of being made. Yeah, there's two here, six here, or two here, four here, so that makes six. And then there's eight on these racks, so yeah, 14. Um, but yeah, I'm going to need 14 ground resin, so we can convert all of the dried hide into wet tanned hide, I believe. Also, I need to eat. How's my nutrition looking? Oh, it's looking terrible. Let me eat some baked potatoes. Mmm. Food. That really did not increase my nutrition. Okay. But yes, I'll be back when, when all of that is turned into leather. Oh, what? There's a zombie in here. Ooh. I'm sorry, what? Why? Oh, they were mad at the trumpet skeleton. I got you. Okay. There we go. Well, now I have a little bit more water. So, if we... There. Now we can take and make some more wet tan tide like this uh where is oh there's our buffalo okay come here buffalo i'm just gonna start like punching it punching it all right all right come on no no why 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 can you do this making it very difficult okay there we go boom Ooh, I got ourselves yeah this is from Corel tombstone um yeah we heavyweight drought what is this all right I really don't want to hit the buffalo okay there we go Because this guy we can't pick up anymore. Um, do I have any more cobblestone? Because I kind of want to see if I can lure him in. No, why? Why must the stakes be so high? Hey, this is actually really good damage. Wait, hold on. Why is this so good? I'm just punching the dude. Like, I know I've got strength and everything but like i'm just punching them okay come on come on i know you can cross that gap so why aren't you okay there we go uh we've got a bit of a problem here eek i thought i I thought I accidentally hit the buffalo hitbox. Okay. Come on, this way? Why aren't you crossing? And why are there so many monsters? Alright. <sighs> okay, now... Will you come over? Fine. I'll move out of your way. And now... Now do you like me? No, you don't. Hey. Grab a little bit more wheat, because I can. Okay, now will you like me? 
Come on. Where's the buffalo? There you are. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay, now. I think I need to make the walls just a little bit higher. Because the buffalo are starting to get out. Um, they were crossing over here. I think they can also get over on this end. Yeah, because of the barrels. I think that should be good now. I think. Also, some of our leather is done. Yay. Uh, we can take this leather in here. And I'm going to make three sets of leather strips. But we can take this leather in here. And mix it with string, I believe. Oh my word. These guys are getting slightly annoying. Only slightly, though. Okay, you know what? Boom. Get out of my way. Thank you. Alright. Now, we should be getting... Yes, we're getting leather cordage. Uh, we need the leather cordage, as I showed you before. To make leaves. We're gonna need a lot of string for this, though. So... Oh, that was an advancement. You'll make a great leader. Aw, thank you, game. Anyways. Uh, hey, there's some... There's some string over here. And it's exactly enough for... One more lead, I think? Yeah. Well, I think our crafting stump's about to break. Oh, it didn't break. Hmm. Watch it. Yep, there it goes. That is loud. Ow. My ears. Anyways. We can now take some of these leads and... I believe turn... Yeah, we can turn some of them into the horse press. We're also going to need a grindstone and a horse chopping block. Now the horse chopping block is actually really good because it'll take one log and make it into four planks on, as opposed to getting like two or three planks out of here. Um, so it's really efficient. Uh, let me, let me place the tanned hide there and go shear some sheep. All right. I'm going to make some of the horse machines, and I will be right back. Okay, so this it should be the press. Yes, it is. Um, we also need a horse for it. That's one of the things we don't have. So, um, let me take care of the zombie problem real quick. Boom. Ooh, more wolf hood. Aha. I think lightning just struck down there. Alright, there we go. Alright, so. Where are horses? There might be some horses over there, I'm not sure. There might also be some over there. Again, not sure. Um... What other machines do we need to make as far as horsepower goes? There's the grindstone and the chopping block, and that's it. Uh, we also need the millstone. I did go ahead and breed these two, I think. Yeah, there's the baby right there. So if we get one of these guys over to our luck totem... And we've got luck three. Uh, we should be able to... I am missing every single shot here. Alright. Um... Oh, what? The luck didn't affect it? Oh, well. But we are going to need a lot of buffalo teeth. So, or when I say a lot, I mean four. Because technically we only need four. But for the wooden gear, 
the only thing we can really make out of it is a wooden or a hand crank. Um, and later on, I believe in the next stage, which we are working to, by the way, or towards, by the way. Uh, but the next age, I believe we get access to a lot of the other better with mods, like machines. That being a windmill, I believe, a water wheel, a gearbox, a saw, a... We can mechanically power our grindstone at that point, or a millstone at that point. Uh, we can also get a turntable. And I think we might get access to bellows. I'm not sure. I think that's an age either two or three thing. But yeah, we get access to a lot of the better with mods machines. And later on, those gears are going to be a lot easier to make. So I'm not too worried about that. Uh, where did our buffalo go? Uh, did he manage to find a way out again? How did you... Hold on. How? Oh, that's... Okay. Well, I'm going to come get you back. Come on. I think, yeah, they can fit through one block holes. I think. Whoa. Thought I fell in the cave down there. Okay, apparently they can't fit through one block holes. Let me place that there. No, come on. Come on. There we go. Uh, we can also use these uh, buffalo to power our horsepower machines. But currently we only have two buffalo, so I don't think that's going to be very efficient. Um, anyways, I wanted to get the horse press up and running and probably set up a bigger perimeter. Of, oh, dang it. Probably set up a bigger perimeter around the base so that we don't so that we don't get attacked by mobs like that. Um, right now, we are kind of unsafe, and I know this is very, very uneven, and all that. I guess you could say that's uneven, but yes, I know that the walls aren't the same material all the way through, uh, but we are going to end up making a house here soon. And building a house means our old house doesn't really matter. So, this place that we've been living at for the past two episodes, I'm going to make a new one. And I'm going to make it look a lot better. Because, honestly, I'm not a fan of the cobblestone wall. So, all of the trees that are right here are probably going to get cut down and turned into either planks or slabs or whatever. And I'm going to make myself... A nice looking house so yeah but that's probably gonna be in the next episode because right now I am running a little low on time um, I haven't done a lot of things as far as progress goes we might be able to get the horse press up and running just real quickly so let me clear out a space. Uh, the space has to be a 7x7, seven by, seven, by the way. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. That should be the middle. 2, 3, 4. And boom. If we place this... Oh, we don't technically need it right there. Okay. That's a valid structure. Okay. Um, however, I will want to automate this later on. So I'm going to grab this. Place that there, and place the press there. Uh, that allows us to make, or put a wooden hopper underneath it, so that we can get, uh, so we can put a chest on the other end of the hopper, 
and just filter or push items in there and have it automatically output. So I'm going to compress the shadow gem shard into the shadow gem real quick using our handy dandy buffalo who's graciously sitting right on the edge here. All right, come on. Oh, come on, no. No, Ty, thank you. No. <sighs> Lead problems, am I right? All right, I have the baby buffalo. I want him to stay in here. There we go. No, 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 no. Gosh darn it. Hey. I think they do work like normal animals, where they stay with the parents. But I'm not sure. Uh, let me get this cow as well. Come on. In here. I said in here. Come on. Yeah, he's he wants to go to the parent. Um, I'll move you guys back, don't worry. But now our buffalo, yes, our buffalo is working now. And we should be able to get our shadow gem. Looks like he stopped. Hey, there's our shadow gem. That was weird. I just heard all of them moo at me at one time. It was really weird. Anyways, we are now one step closer to the wooden hopper. Now all we really have to do is get red cedar. And I think that should be easy. Uh, if we take a look at the ceremonies. If we go to Zafkill Waltz, I think. No. It might be Rite of Spring. Yes, it's the Rite of Spring. Along with that, any nearby saplings will transform into red cedar saplings. The musical selectors are Flute and Totemus Drum. So let me go get... Actually, I think I've got some saplings back here. Maybe. No, I do not. Okay, well, let me... Let me take down some of these. And we got ourselves some saplings. I want multiple of these, just because it'll be easier for us in the future. Um, let me get my music instruments. Oh, wrong one. Oh, no. Well, let's just go ahead and complete this. Seems very easy. Oh, speed two and strength two. Interesting. That's not the one we wanted though. This is the one we wanted, Rite of Spring. Once we get a little bit more of the instruments, or a few more of the instruments, we should be able to make these a lot easier to make so um let me place down those hey hold on that's like almost all of the wolf armor dang all right well I was going to place the cedar saplings over here so that they would have plenty of space to grow. Alright, let's see what the lollipops have. Unstable intangibleness, elixir of decay, and diversion. What are those? Okay, so apparently the unstable intangibleness is... Invulnerability every couple seconds. And diversion, I don't know exactly what that is, but it's fine. It doesn't seem to be doing anything devastating. So let me get this and this. 
because I want to do a ceremony over here. Um, okay, there we go. We should be able to, if I remember the ceremony properly, it says Alf Kill Waltz. Yes, it's chime and flute. So if we get our flute out. There we go. Now this should help grow the red cedar planks, or the red cedar saplings. All right, there we go. And I believe, yes, the effect does go quite a ways. I'm not sure exactly how far though. Or how long these are going to take. But. We will see soon enough. Hey! And there's a cedar plant. Or a cedar tree. Okay, so it did require extra light. Let me chop these down. And get some red cedar planks. Because we need a couple of them. Aw, my hatchet broke. That's unfortunate. Oh well. Alright. Boom. Now, I am going to need another hatchet, so let me take one of these and get a flint right here. Get a flint point. And I think... It's just some twine, if I remember correctly. We need some plant fiber, turn that into twine, put the twine back, the plant fiber back, and no, not that way. Is it this way? It is. There we go. So now we can chop down this tree and break down some of our logs into red cedar planks. And with the red cedar planks, we are now one step further, or closer, to our goal of getting the flame grill whopper and as you can see we just got more saplings than we really needed so let me place some of these down and boom oh plus the the leaves look really good honestly all right let's break let's break some of these down and I believe we're going to need four of them. Yeah, four of them for the gear. If it'll show me. Yeah, four of them for the wooden gear. Um, and two of them for the flame grilled whopper. Right here. So let me bookmark these so that I can remember next episode. And boom. We are now one step closer to our goal. Anyways, guys, that's all the time I have left for this episode. Um, if you have enjoyed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, do whatever you feel necessary. And I will see you guys in the next episode. This has been Mist. Goodbye. <laughs>